All right, hi folks, laying down on the job again. Jeff from RV Diagnostics, kind of what the patch says. Um, I'm up under a 99 Beaver, going over some airbag issues and systems like that. So I'm gonna show you something. It's called a ride height control valve. All right, right there she is. She hooks to the axle. All right, this is four bags per axle. All right, right there they are. Oops. Okay, and there. There's another one right there, that rubber thing next to the Bilstein shock. Now, if you can see it, you can see how far the rubber's down. Now watch. I'm gonna twist this valve right here. That's the ride height valve. The top blue line is the feed from the tanks, and it, each blue line feeds each two set of uh, bags, okay? Your driver and your passenger side. We don't say left and right. But what I want you to do is listen, and I'm also going to show you a little bit. Watch. Watch how it goes up. All right, now. All right, here we go. Ready? Uh, you ain't going to see it too good, are you? Hold on. I'm going to put you on pause. All right, so if you see right here, the black line right there. Now, watch. I'm going to move this valve by hand. I'm going to bend it a little bit because I'm changing it out anyway. But Alright, now watch. I'm going to go up with it. When this rod gets longer it's going to put air into it. Ready? Here we go. It's kind of hard to do all this by yourself. But it's alright. We'll get right there. I'm twisting that. I'm going to twist it clockwise, the way the clock spins. Alright, you're going to hear the air go into it. But what's more important is, watch, I'm trying to get these blocks in there. Alright, I want them a little bit higher. Because I'm getting ready to take that right height valve off, which means I'm going to lower this. And as long as I stay under this axle here, all this right here, that moves. That comes down and up. But this is the loss it go. Well, it's pretty close. I don't need it coming down on me. I don't like 40,000 pounds laying on me. All right, so you see, I can't get the block of wood in that way. But right now, for safety, I'm going to put this one here. All right, so here we go. We're going to move it. Here we go. We'll go up spin that one. We'll try to put another light there for you. All right, here we go, folks. Listen. All right. Listen. And watch over there. Watch that airbag. See how it's going up? It's going up. Now, let's see. And if I let it go, it's going to let it down. So i got to be quick. Ready? Hear it? It's, it's, it's bleeding out. Let's see if it came up high enough. Nope, didn't come up high enough. All right, so I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to push this rod up further. Put you on pause. All right, so I pushed the rod up further, which made this turn clockwise. Now, look. Remember before the block was laying in this way. Now, I can put the block in this way. So I'm going to go around the four points. All right, let's see if we can see that. Look, that airbag actually came up higher. See it? Look at that. She's up there. All right. And there's a bag measurement that you do. You do it from the top plate. To the bottom i went over this before in a video but i'll link it to it but right now i'm just going to take some stuff apart put a new valve in it because it's 22 years old all right so i'm redoing it i'm gonna redo some of these bushings i'll get into that later with you look at that one that, that thing is shot buddy look at that see it right there look at that shot yes sir now i got a guy two stores down i live out in the middle of boom he's just a farmer he works on uh the big tractors that and trailers that go back for the corn feed and all that. So he does all that. He got them tools and knock them bushings out for me. There you go. <laughs> Save me a little work. I'll pay him. Hey, he won't take the money, but I'll I'll try like hell to pay him. All right, so folks, that was a rod height valve. I showed you how the airbags come up. We're gonna get into them deeper. All right, this is Jeff. What's the motto? Oh, wait a minute. What's the Faven saying? Test not guess. Now, it applies to everything. Remember, we were dealing with pneumatics here, air. That's part of the MECP rule, M-E-C-H-P. Mechanical, electrical, chemical, hydraulic, 
pneumatics. This is on the Mech P rule video series. All right, so since I get ready to retire fully and I play around in my garage now, everybody leave me alone. Um, now, I'll still have people stop by for the school and all, but I'll be able to do more of my videos for you so you can learn. Uh, have, have fun. What's the first four letters of mechanic? M-E-C-H. All right, now. All right, so what's the other famous saying? You know it. Test not gas. The other one is safe travels. May your campfires burn bright till we see again, whether here on a YouTube channel, on the Facebook page, RV Diagnostic Troubleshoot, which is over 24,000 members. I might see you on the YouTube channel. I might see you on the website, www.rvdiagnostics.com. That's where I do one-on-one. -on -one. Right now, it's $118 a year to join. Uh, I had a couple people join today. And one of them was local, and he found me on a YouTube channel. So the other place you can email me at is jeff at rvdiagnostics. Please just don't show up. Uh, give me about a two weeks notice. One, I might be gone for two weeks camping. Two, um, I'm a pretty busy man. So um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is going to be me fixing RVs. Friday through Monday is going to be me for doing videos, stuff like that, fun with the wife, uh, you know, playing with the dogs. So thank you very much, folks, for all the support you've been doing out there.